My name is Zoe Walker. Not so long ago, I wanted to be a journalist. Now, I just want to hold my breath and sink. Not because I want to black out, but for the calm that comes beforehand. When thoughts die and memories drown. 90 seconds. That's about how long it takes for me. And suddenly, it's like none of it ever happened. Are we going to play? Sorry, Pumpkin. You, you bet we're going to play. Now, I know you're an expert, but are you sure you've looked at everything? Mm-hmm. Trust me. I got this. Okay. Then what color is... Um... That big truck, way up there. Depends what part of the truck. Okay, Smarty. How about the <laughs> exhaust pipe? Um, that's where all the smoke comes out. And it's gray. <laughs> hey, you are rocking this today, Zoe. <laughs> Looks like you're ready for the next level. What's the next level? You ask me one final question. If I don't get it on the first try, <laughs> you win the whole game. Let's play it. Let me just have one last look around. Ready? Okay, shoot. Um, how many stars are on my backpack? Hmm. This is a toughie. Is it six? Ah, uh, how'd you know? I use my superpowers. <laughs> but I'll tell you, you're getting hard to beat. <laughs> oh, did I doze off? <laughs> Come on, back in the car. We still got 45 states license plates to spot. <clears throat> hey. Hey. You. You doing okay? Yeah, sure. It's, uh. You know, I'm fine, Michelle. We're good. <sighs> Why are you guys acting weird again? It's nothing, hun. Just a long trip. I tell you, the only thing worse than feeding a dog fast food is smelling it again on the way out. Grandpa! Wait, I'm your grandpa? All this time, I thought you were my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> How far'd you walk? I was worried you got lost. Oh, just to the tree. You know dogs. They think they're the ones holding the leash. All right, crew, buckle up. I want to make it to Albuquerque before we stop for the night. You're listening to Drive Time on KMQ, Blackstaff's first and finest. It's another beautiful Arizona afternoon, and your weekend starts here. Hmm. Or maybe I'm just too frightened by the sound <laughs> of it. Pieces of love fall down, but the head is set. So, what's next? License plate game? Another round of row, row, row your boat? <laughs> she fell asleep halfway through your solo. You definitely get first prize for keeping her entertained. I am not entertaining. I am shepherding. <laughs> you are my flock, and I plan to herd you to St. Louis in high spirits. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Wasn't taking the scenic route your idea? 
I wanted to do this trip at 30,000 feet. Oh, I'm not complaining about the drive. I'm just trying to picture Vince living in the Midwest. <sighs> Hey, it's gonna be awesome. I'll learn the banjo, get myself a ticket to Country Palooza. <laughs> ha ha, you're very funny. St. Louis is as urban as it gets, and you know that. And actually, the whole city's turning around these days. I'm kidding, I know, it'll be fine. You've got your tenure, I've got my new job. Couldn't make me work for a pet food company if it was the only job left in the country. Jim, I don't think that's helping. Ten thousand bucks. You should have gone for the jugular, sued those bastards at the airline the way they pinned that thing on you. Not signed some settlement paper. I haven't signed it yet. But you still want to, right? I know it's your call, but I think it's time to put this whole thing behind us. Give me a little space on this one, okay? Of course. Vince was a good kid, but he always did let people walk all over him. When you were small, you asked me to buy you these cheap action figures so you'd have something to give the kids at school when they picked them. And what was I like in high school, huh? Ouch. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. If you two didn't want me to come, you could have said so. Zoe wanted you to come. Please, Jim, let's just take it down a notch and try to get through the next three days. Without me talking, you mean. Hey. I'm glad we're spending a few days together on the road. And like I said, once we get settled in the new days... <laughs> Okay, pumpkin. What happened? She's just shaken, I think. <sighs> Great. Hey, thanks for coming back. If you give me learn a how to drive, asshole. Are you kidding me? Country kids, or oh, a desert person. Lucky we're still in one piece. <laughs> Man, the look on his face. I hope he didn't see our license plate. Nah. Stupid fucker was too busy yelling into the wind. That's the one. 28 Northwood. <laughs> Ugly as hell. These houses all look the same to me. Jay, you ready? Hey! What? Head out of the clouds, little bro. I knew we shouldn't have brung him. Come on. He'll pull his weight. Look, this is just like we talked about. There's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us. We stay alive, we keep the house, everything goes back to normal. I don't know. What if he's got an alarm or something? Nah, he'd have one of those signs out front. 
You're always out skulking in the woods, climbing trees and all that. We all know you're good at it. And you want to help the family, right? You know I do. Then here's your chance. Hop that fence and find a way in. Whoa! Does Ma know you took that? No. Nope. But someone's got to watch your backs. We got one hour before they're home. If you hear three honks, you run like hell. Hey, let's party. Dale! The code. Jay can read. Don't screw this up, kid. We're counting on you. All right. You go do your Tarzan bullshit over the back gate. I'll try the garage. Never know when you might get lucky. It's the big bad wolf. Not funny. What happened? He's got a Doberman. I had to lock it in the shed. What's that? <laughs> Idiot. Whose house is this? Dante Romero. King of the pigs. Wait, the sheriff? Yep. You know Ma's beef with him goes way back. Even before he sent me to juvie. I know, but... But what? The way I see it, he owes us. So, we ought to fuck this place up a little while we're at it. All right. I won't stop you. What'd you do that for? They might test it or something. Oh, come on. This is two rock, not NYPD blue. Now get looking for that safe. No safe here. Good place to hide a safe. Or not. You find anything? No. Maybe it's upstairs? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. What are you doing? It's for my girlfriend. You don't have a girlfriend. Shut up! I'm working on it. Hey! When life gives you lemons... Come here. Help me get a little payback. <laughs> I kind of had to go anyway. <laughs> what? Just sometimes I forget you're a Hulk. All right, enough screwing around. You look upstairs, and I'll check the rest of the rooms down here. Okay.
Twelve years repairing jumbo jets, you'd think I'd be able to fix a car. You okay? Yeah, sure. Seen one motel, you've seen them all. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Jamal, Ryan's mom said I could stay over tonight. Don't wait up. Hi. We got in an accident a few miles east of here. I don't suppose you have a couple of empty rooms and the number for a tow truck? Ooh, no dice. Our mechanics away in Tucson for the weekend. All right, then, just the two rooms. That'll be 70. <laughs> Cash only. I've got uh, 52. That's enough for one room. Hey, Joyce! I'm doing something! Please, if you could trust me to pay the rest tomorrow, it would mean a lot. My daughter, she really needs her sleep, and my dad is one hell of a snorer. Oh, the sweetheart. If this is all just to cheat me out of a few dollars. Hi, I'm Michelle. Thanks so much for accommodating us. Well, we're not exactly full. Glad to help. It was a fuse again. Problem with not having breakers is, oh, hey, welcome to Two Rock. Paul, do me a favor. Go ask Norma to tow this guy's car back here to the lot. Ah, dang. You burst a tire or something? I I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Engine problem, actually. But you're welcome to try. It's a red SUV. East. You can't miss it. I'm on it. Hey, do I know you? Nah. People just mistake me for Clint Eastwood. Ugh, thank God we're out of that heat. <laughs> Are we on vacation now? Do we get to go in the pool? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Our swimsuits are in the moving truck. And stop jumping on the bed, okay? Then, can I watch the Nature Channel, please? Hey, I said stop jumping. I'll stop if you let me watch my show. It's educational. All right, but only a half hour. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. And you have to tell me some cool facts afterwards. Man, we raised one hell of a negotiator. It's been a tough day. She can have this one. Oh. You okay? Uh, I don't know. It feels pretty sore. Would you mind rubbing it for a minute? Uh. Nice room. Looks just like mine. Well, I'm gonna take Zeus for a walk. Vince, uh, would you mind joining me? Didn't we just walk a mile? Well, he has to pee, and I wanna talk to you about something. <laughs> uh, you go ahead. I'm gonna stay. Can I come? You're the one I was really hoping for. <laughs> Thank you for staying. I know I'm irritable when it comes to your dad. Don't worry about it. I had you back in the car earlier, didn't I? It's just, you know what he wants, right? He's gonna ask you if he can move in with us. Oh God, you think? I'd bet money on it. I mean, well, maybe we should consider it. 
His cancer's only going one way. I feel for him. I just... I don't know if I trust him. He disappeared from your life for almost 30 years. I don't want him doing that to Zoe. I know. But back then, he bounced between rehab centers like a pinball. He, he's different now. Come on, <sighs> give me your shoulders. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> but go lower. Mm. Oh, right there. That's the spot. Oh, that's great, Vince. Thank you. You know, when I picked Zoe up yesterday, her teacher kept telling me what a smart kid she is. That she's ahead on reading and numbers. Was there ever any doubt? She also said that, with Zoe changing schools, it might be worth thinking about her skipping first grade and going straight into second. Wait, what? That's what I said. But then I thought about it, and maybe this could be really good for her. She'd be challenged, learn new things. Michelle, no. She'll be the runt of the class. They'll take her lunches and stuff them up a tree. Or she'll have a bunch of great friends who just happen to be a few months older than her. Oh, I don't know. She's already moving to a new state. Things at home have been... You know, she heard us fighting the other night. Does she really need more stress? Of course not. But maybe we just take a leap on this one? I don't want to mess her up. If she gets into that class and struggles, or, or doesn't make friends... Vince, this is the perfect time to do it. She's going to a new school anyway, and... <sighs> okay. All right. I hear you. But Vince... Look. About the other night. Daddy! The car is back! Grandpa told me to come get you. He did? Well, great. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some snacks from the vending machine. You want anything? Uh... No. We're good. So Bill turns to Hillary and says, but I thought the Gaza Strip was a toughness bar. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where the party is. Oh, hey there. Got your car towed back for you. You were right. It's more than I can fix with duct tape and a socket wrench. What do I owe you? Nothing. Your guests. Get it right back, quick. What in the world? On the ground, now! Get on the ground! No. Now hang on. You don't need to call for help. You need to do exactly as I say, okay? Because if my brothers find out you're here, do you understand? Right. Sorry. Look, we just came for the money, then we're gone. Well, I don't know. Don't you know? Doesn't he tell you? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't pry.
Thank you. Everything okay up there? It's fine. I'm gonna try his office. Now that a boy. It has to be in here. Bird watching. That's cool. Dale! I found it! What the? Where's the code? Yes! Whoa. Dale, check it out. Holy shit. <laughs> How much does this prick make? Here, let's load it up. Man, if I had as much money as this greedy asshole, I'd give it all to charity. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <sighs> Hell no, I wouldn't. I'd run and buy a 64 Pontiac GTO. Prettiest piece of metal you ever saw on four wheels. Ugh. What about you? Now what would you do if you could keep all this cash? I'd get a bus ticket and get out of this dump. Why, you gonna leave us? <laughs> Maybe. I'm 18 now. Good luck with that. Last time a Hulk got out of two rocks was never. <sighs> Play it cool when we're outside. Hey, we were plumbers. Call to check a clog. <sighs> Shit. Go. Go. Not coming up. Just came from my wallet. Got your PT rescheduled for Monday, by the way. where I can see them. Now! Count to ten, then go. Who are you? Just a guy who wanted a VCR. What did you do to my wife? What? On your knees. Hands behind your head. This is C1. I got a 13506 in progress at 28 Northwood Drive. Send back up now.
Shit. Shit. Fuck. Come on. You came back early. I don't know what happened. We gotta go. Did you get the money? Oh, we got it all right. Nice work, guys. They didn't see us turn in. No. They would have slowed. Listen up! We're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. Don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Understood? <laughs> We understand. And whatever you say. Good. That's what I want to hear. You, keep that dog quiet. Shh. It's all right, Zeus. Let's just jack a car. Drive back the other way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks. Vince, we need to do something. Hey, uh, guys? What? Look, I, I get that you need to hide, but do you need us for that? We could go to our room, stay out of your way. No one's leaving. Just stay down and stay quiet. At least you tried. We can't stay here. We can until dark. Then, we set out cross country. It's our best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta Drop move. Drop the weapon. <laughs> Easy now. Let's I said just... drop it! Let's all just... take a deep breath, okay? It's my motel. I'll deal with them. No, he's right. Joyce, if that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. But it don't have to be like that. If we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said, take off the masks. Oh, no. You're the Holt boys. You're the ones who hit our car. Paul, take the shotgun. I... I I'm sorry, I can't. Christ. Really, Paul? You. Grab the gun. <laughs> now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. <laughs> You've never held a gun a day in your life. I learned quick, though. Touch my things again, you won't be happy. Hey, you get the truck hit away? It's... it's in a shutout back. Tyler, these people didn't do anything to us. They will if we let them. You and Dale, line them all up. I need to make a call. It's me. We got a problem. Desert Dream Motel. I think they don't know that. All right, shitheads. Over by the tables. <sighs> you boys. You haven't hurt anyone, have you? Nah, we killed the president. Ain't that right, bro? You're the middle brother. The one who got himself sent off to juvenile hall. Shut the fuck up. Why? Everybody knows. Joyce, don't. From what I hear, you're just like your daddy. Another fucked up Holt thinks the world's his to break. 
quad like this. Or how about this? Come on, man. Is that necessary? Are you necessary? Shut it up. Now. He's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. It's just nervous, Dale. I don't care what it feels. I want it to shut up. Look, Zeus is just freaked out right now. He'll calm down if we just sit quietly. I said, shut the fuck up. Dale, what are you doing? It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me. Or what? You'll break my face too? Or are you just gonna shoot me? Zeus, quiet. Jim, give him here. That's it. Good boy. Nice and calm. There. Are you happy? Now put the gun down. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what? I'm tired of you. Tape her mouth shut. <sighs> Do your own dirty work. Hey, wake up. Uh, why is there so much luggage in your SUV? Huh? <sighs> Who else are you traveling with, huh? You tell me the truth now. Just me and my father. We're on a road trip to sort of get to know each other again. It's a lot of stuff for just two men. No, it's true. It's just him and the older fella. I checked them in myself. There's no one else. You know something? I don't like you. You got this look like you're scared shitless. Tell me I'm wrong. Of course I'm scared shitless. It's a cop. What do we do? That's just Big Sam. He buys a soda, talks for a while, then he's gone. Jay, in the back. Go with him. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the cop. You hear me? Sure thing, boss. You two. Keep your mouth shut, and this'll all be over faster. <laughs> You're coming with me. Hey there. Evening. Hey, Sam. Paul, how's things? Slow as usual. Yeah, like my daddy always said. If you don't slow down, you don't see the wall before you hit it. <laughs> Where's uh, Joyce and her kid? Upstairs? Oh, uh, Ash is at a friend's house for the night, and Joyce isn't feeling well. She's been in bed for days. Uh, sorry to hear that. Say, uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Maybe out on the road somewhere? Nope. Been here all day. How you like in the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. Yeah, Joyce runs herself a tight ship. <sighs> so, who else are you traveling with? Uh, 
Oh, just me and my dad over there. Evening, officer. Oh. So, uh, why the booster seat? Huh? I saw your car when I pulled in. California plates? Oh, I, um, I have a kid back home. But you know how it is, the seat lives in the car. True. We got two living in the back of the Bronco. Can I uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? We're um, headed to Mexico for a little R&R. &R. Oh, my wife and I love it there. Which city? Um, Mexico City. Really? Heard it's not safe for tourists these days. We're um, gonna volunteer. Saving the orphans. <laughs> Big Sam, where you at? <laughs> There's a dream, but I'm on my way back. Anyway, we're looking for three idiots who broke into the sheriff's house. If you can believe anyone would be that stupid. They're armed and dangerous, so if you hear anything, you call 911. Any idea who it was? Nah, they covered their faces so they uh, wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that why? Which choice better for me? Daddy! Mommy said I can stay up late tonight. What took you so long? Hang on, who are you? I'm his wife. Is something the matter? You're his, uh, right. You said it was just you and your dad. Vince, what's happening? Come on, we need to get Zoe out of here. What? Why? Just do it. H hold on. Dispatch, this is 1742. I, uh, I have suspicious circumstances at my location. Please send additional... Sam! <laughs> oh, my God! <sighs> you lie about your family? And try to get us caught? to hold a gun anymore. Tell him to let her go. If I did that, it wouldn't be a standoff. Vince, maybe you should put the gun down. Or maybe you keep your toys for once. Is this really what you want? In front of your kid?
You are gonna shoot me point blank with a shotgun in front of your whole family? I... It wasn't loaded. No, but you didn't know that. You were ready to do it. You're trying to kidnap my wife, man. You think I'm just gonna stand here and let that happen? Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. <gasps> Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, you dipshits broke into my house and shot me. If I wasn't wearing my vest. How'd they even find us? Someone called 911. Jay, check they can't get in the back. You're smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Cleveland Physics Sam, please acknowledge. Take him in the back there and destroy that radio. Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time, but he gets things done. <laughs> you sound like you know him pretty well. It's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small-town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. <sighs> is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. You're not going to put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. Keep your mouth shut, and don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again... Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Yes, no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, 
Maybe. Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? It. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One, two. <clears throat> if it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the Sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family, we're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. Look, I need to know. Where's my deputy? He's... They sh shot him. He's dead. Hello? We called him Big Sam. He was a good man. What else can you tell me about what's going on in there? The people doing this? There's three of them. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys? Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? You're good. Keep going. The one calling the shots, I think his name's, um... Tyler? Tyler. That's right. He's the one who killed your deputy. I worry what's gonna happen if something else sets him off. Huh. Yeah, I would have called him the one with the cool head. If Tyler's losing it, you need to be careful. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. The youngest brother, the one they call Jay, he's just a kid. I don't even think he wants to be here. Probably bullied into it, but listen, it's good to identify a weak link for us and, and for you. I'm almost out of time. But listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't have time. You're lying to me. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him, and he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Ooh, pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. 
My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, I keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. You could stick your gag order and your pen right up your ass. Oh, so you do have a little fight left in you, huh? <gasps> Shit. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. You're probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by 7. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until 7 to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? Dish is done. Okay. If this is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck, there should be... Well, this is obviously alien technology. Cool ethereal thermostat control. It's AC. By Vince. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? I guess some dreams never get off the ground. stretch now. You know what? We had chocolate pudding the day we moved in, so why not go out in style? Step away from the chocolate. Daddy! Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Mary gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you going to put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, hmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything.
Yeah, the couch tried to stop me with a five o'clock nap, but I got it done. Another bad night's sleep? Are you feeling any better? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what, never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. Which is why I made... Chocolate pudding! Ta-da! Mmm, <laughs> good call. <laughs> God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed Will you get noodled up. Come on, let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my, my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but... The thing about dreams is, maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like, what? We all have things that scare us. Like the dark. And that's okay. I guess we just learn to live with it until maybe one day we won't be afraid anymore. So when I'm older, I might not even need my star lamp. <laughs> Try to sleep. Okay. Love you all the way to the moon. Love you too. <laughs> Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? <laughs> well done. I'd better go kiss her goodnight before she drops off. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? Hey! I can't believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's dark out there. I can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Is 
Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet, let me think. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin, it's Daddy. Me. It's Vince. I'm coming in. Daddy! I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I heard. Zoe, you okay? Daddy, I, I don't want to be here anymore. Hey, remember what I told you? It's okay to be scared. But it's almost over now, I promise. How do you know? Because I have a sixth sense about these things. <sighs> do you think they're gonna try to come in? They're probably just checking things out. They're not gonna try anything. You think? Yeah. You're cool. Listen. I'm gonna get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With Mommy... and Grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. You guys all right? Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the Holtz? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Uh. Are you hurt? No. Are you? Stay down and don't move. Where are the perps? in a body bag. Oh. oh, shit, she's been shot. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. She needs an ambulance. Get her an ambulance. Fuck. Fuck! No! We can't. What happened to mommy? 
Quick, Joyce, don't we have a... A first aid kit? Oh my god, I'll go check. Shh, just look at me. Look at me. What happened? Where's Zoe? She's fine. Honey, she's right here. Your mommy needs some space, darling. Help me get her to the couch. How'd you get caught so quick, huh? The cops, they... I didn't have time to hide. I'm lucky you got me around to bail you out. Uh. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. I know that look. It's bad, isn't it? I don't want to lie to you, but there's a lot of blood. Oh, God. Vince, help me get the wound exposed. Quick. That's it. Oh, my God, honey. It didn't hit a major organ from what I can tell. But if she keeps losing blood, it won't matter. Are you a paramedic or something? No. Just spent 324 days in the jungle north of Da Nang. <laughs> Saw a lot of these. Uh. What? I, I couldn't find the first aid kit, but I got some tweezers, some pads. We're gonna take care of you, honey. Look, it went in her back and didn't come out the front. Means the bullet's still in there. Well, we, we gotta get it out then. Or something, don't we? I don't know, man. You dig around too much and they get infections. And my hands shake. If anyone's doing this, it's you. I don't want it in me, Vince. Please, get it out. Okay. I'll try. You're doing fine, sweetheart. I've got it, I've got it. Nice job, Doc. Now, let's get that thing cleaned up and covered. This here's the good stuff. Usually stays hidden. Paul's in recovery. Two years sober this July. Okay. It, it stings, but it's okay. Keep going. Okay, hand me that shawl. She should be all right for now, but we need to keep the pressure on this wound. No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Well, since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Veggie delight. Give me 20 minutes. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. <laughs> Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. 
My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Oh, is there anything more stressful than moving? I hear divorce is stressful. <sighs> anyway, tonight is our last night. And it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? Uh, by the way, you got a message. Something about cupcake. Why did you... Vince, you've been reading my messages? I was checking to see if it was the movers. I didn't say you could spy on me. <sighs> Some things are private. <sighs> It'll wake Zoe. Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Someone from the university. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Yes, like Bruce. Why does it even matter? Daddy? <sighs> Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Even with my star lamp on. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy? Why would you ask that? Hannah's parents used to argue, and now they don't get to live together anymore. Don't worry, honey. We're not doing that. So, uh... This Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. <sighs> it's just strange. How first he texted you, then called your cell, then called the house. He missed the farewell drinks and wanted to say goodbye. He was just being nice. <sighs> Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. <laughs> I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. Nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? <sighs> mm. 
Michelle, every bone in my body tells me you're sleeping with this guy. Now you're being ridiculous. All right, then, give me your cell phone. What? I want to have a look at your messages. Have you got something to hide? No, of course not. So what's the problem? What's the matter? It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I was right. I don't know what to tell you. It just happened. It just happened. You made a choice, Michelle. You chose to do this. Jesus. You don't need to raise your voice at me. It was stupid. After the accident, you were so... Neither of us were in a good place. And he was... I don't know. He was there. Tell me the truth. Do you love him? Of course not. I love you. But every time I try to get close, you push me away. Look, it was just sex. That's honestly all it was. What about Zoe? Did you even think what this could do to her? I didn't want to hurt anyone. <sighs> Michelle. I felt so rejected. You haven't touched me in months. You haven't looked at me. When was the last time we even watched a movie together? When you lost your job. This wall went up. You pretend everything's fine, that you don't need to talk, but the wall just gets higher and higher, brick by brick. And I missed you, okay? How dare you turn this back on me? I'm just trying to make you understand. Look, I know you're hurt and angry, but I can't undo what I did. You want revenge? Have a one night stand. That's not the point. I don't want to sleep with anyone else. I want you. Vince, I did a stupid thing. It was meaningless, but it happened, all right? If I could take it back, I would. Will you at least sit down so we can talk this through? You know what? Fuck you. No. You never speak to me like that. Ever. Where are you going? Oh, that's it. Walk out. This is don't be here when you get back, Michelle. gonna have to walk. Vince, don't let them send me out. I want it to be Zoe. You're hurt, honey. You need to get to a hospital. I know I look like death, but I promise I'm not actually dying. But Zoe, look at her, Vince. Please, just get her somewhere safe. 
What do you think? Will Michelle be okay here? Hard to say. I've seen it go a lot of different ways. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. It's gotta be Zoe. She's seen enough for one night. <sighs> Fine. But what about Mommy? She needs help. And she'll get it. But for now, the important thing is to get you somewhere safe. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. <sighs> My brave little girl. I'll see you really soon, okay? Okay, Mommy. Come on, kiddo. <laughs> hey, look. You dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know, they can see in the dark. Thanks. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. I've got eyes on two hostages. One male, one female child approaching from the front of the building. Over. Daddy, is mommy going to die? I don't know, Pumpkin. Some things grown-ups can control, and some things we just can't. But if you don't know, why did you leave her inside? Because nothing is more important to us than you. That's far enough! I'm Sheriff Romero. And I guess you must be Vince. Best if we make this quick. You know how much I love you, right? All... all the way to the moon. That's right. You get scared, you just look up at the sky and remember that, okay? Okay. Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. You know, all the best things about us, they're part of you already. So wherever you go, we'll always be with you. You will? Always. Hey, hurry it up! Come on, kid. Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. Hell, it's hard for me, too. Those fuckers shot me. But, I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this. 
but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You do. I really hope you're right. I spent ten years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. <sighs> Vince? Is Zoe okay? How are you feeling? Cold. Hmm. Tired. Wish I was back home. So, did you meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? Clever guy. Plans within plans, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I'll tell you something I learned early on in life. Never trust a cop. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff, ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Share that with the rest of us? Um, nope. Don't think I do. Are you serious? Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have any. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. No. I said no. The answer is no. Come on, man, just share the food. Here you go, getting all up in my shit again. Why should I, huh? Isn't it worth a few slices to shut everyone up? If I wanted to shut them up, I'd just fucking do it. They giving you problems? Nah, I got this. Shit. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stayed quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting the job soon. There's this girl I got my eye it's on. It's not here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. This girl, Jessica, you want to tell me about her? No. I don't want to fucking tell you about her. 
She's none of your goddamn business or anybody else's. In fact, don't ever say her name again. Hey, I was just trying to, you know... What? Be my friend. Go fuck yourself, asshole. So, uh, does that mean no pizza? I don't think pizza's happening, guys. Oh, I wasn't hungry anyway. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. you out of the country. You know that, right? Hey, fuck you. Shut your mouth. Come on. Please make it back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. Tranquilo. It's for Vince. Morphine. For your wife. I've seen mine suffer for years. You'll be glad you have it if it comes to that. All right. Take it. Thank you. I never thanked you from my shoulder. I was aiming for your heart, but I guess you ain't got one. Hmm. You know, you were small time before today. An ugly assault a couple summers back. <laughs> Some petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway... I believe you have something of mine. Yeah. Your money. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? The fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. Go now. Run for the door. 
I don't understand. You're not done. Go find the book. If I go back in there now, Tyler will kill me. This isn't a request, Vince. I'd go inside if I were you. What did you do? What did I do? Are you fucking serious? Why did you come back? Because my family's in here! God damn kill! Hey! This isn't his fault. You're the one in charge, Tyler. You're the one who let your brother go out there. You wanna blame someone? Take a look in the fucking... Joyce! No. Tyler. Get him out of here. Tyler, what did you do? He's gone. He's just gone. I know, but you. Shut up. Just take her body in the back. Vince, I'm so sorry for what happened between us, for what I did.
Let's not do this all over again, okay? I thought I had a reason for things. That I was doing what I had to, to stay whole. To be who I was meant to be. But it's all just excuses, isn't it? We should have sent her to a hospital. It's what she wanted. I had to respect it. But what's happening? Come on, stay with me. Vince, why am I lying here? Was I in a car accident? You're scaring me right now, honey. Oh, God. It hurts. Where's my baby? Where's Zoe? We got her out. Remember? She's, she's safe now. Listen, I, uh, I have morphine. It'll ease the pain so you don't have to feel whatever might be about to happen. Vince, I don't know. What if I fall asleep and don't wake up? Fight it, Michelle. Fight it with everything you've got. I'm trying. I'm... Oh, fuck! Vince... It hurts! Vince, I am so... So sorry. Wasn't here. I keep thinking the same thing. You and me have something in common. Both lost people tonight. Should I express my pain by killing someone in cold blood? Look, I gotta ask. When you were out there earlier, did you know what was gonna happen to Dale? No, of course not. He was my baby brother. I was there the day he was born. You were coming to the wrong person for sympathy, Tyler. None of this was supposed to happen. None of it. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Sherry? 
if... Uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. And they wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Besides, it's been kind of a messy night. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sheriff, better not make me regret this. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Hmm. Ma? Why are you here? Hey, Mama. Hi, sweetheart. Where's Dale? Oh, God, no. Ma, I'm sorry. You were supposed to look after him. <laughs> Sharon, I'm... I'm so sorry. How did it happen? Romero. Drew us out to talk about a helicopter. And he had a sniper. What, he just... lured him out there like... like an animal? Got something to say? No. Go on. You think my Dale had it coming, don't you? After what he put us through, my wife just died because of all this shit. So, yeah. What's your name? Vince. He's got a family. Family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters. But we have lost so much. And now, Dale... I am not losing anyone else. So you help me take care of my family? I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? Okay. Look, the sheriff, he, um... He gave me something. A two-way pager. He uh. what? He wants some book he thinks you stole. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Just hold on now. Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. <sighs> so Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? Look, I don't know all the history here, but I talked to your sheriff, and he was bad news. You're perceptive. I'll give you that. But it don't mean all that much. <sighs> Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Jay, sweetie, don't you worry. We'll get you out of here. Sorry about your wife, by the way. I mean that. Jim? You okay? No. Oh, it's nothing. I'll be fine. That is, if your big gamble pays off. Wasn't it hot enough for you in the frying pan? We were gonna leave both here until Romero got bored of chasing his own tail. Next thing we knew, half the sheriff's department was outside. I'm pretty much totally making this up as I go. So, if you have any ideas... Why'd you let me talk you into Route 66? 
We could have gone through Utah. Nothing but Mormons and South Flats. I just hope Zoe's okay out there. This night is too much for any kid. Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. They're coming too? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's just a book about birds. Huh. It's some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I, I thought there was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I, I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. A Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. Me? We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. With him? He tried to get me arrested. If he tries anything this time, do what you have to do. Big deal. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof. It won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. I replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw. Easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't. kind of timber you got there? Uh... Ain't hardwood, so... You saying you got soft wood? Yeah, I think. Hear that, Tyler? He can't get it up. <laughs> what? Walk right into that one. <laughs> Look at his face. Almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Whoa. <laughs> Should've known better. I fucking taught him that. Uh. Hey. Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload. <laughs> you ever get those weird floaty things when you stare at the sky? You mean like little dots and squiggly lines?
Yeah, I see him. I'm watching the birds sometimes. Looky, looky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa? Huh? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof, then. Seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? No, it was, it was me. <laughs> Take that dumbass smirk off your face. You did a good job, but you look like a fucking halfwit. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <clears throat> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. In God's name, are you fighting over this time? <sighs> Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? <sighs> Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Pa said the roof's taken too long, and then it got ugly. Yeah. When are you all gonna learn to grow up? I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. Present some business acquaintances of your father's. Ah, <sighs> that is good. I can see this is a well run home. This is private property. You need to go, sir. <laughs> Maybe you need a lesson in manners, young man. I'm here on a matter of urgency. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Which means you must be Jay. I have been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? He was here, but you're too late. Ah, shoot. Now that's a shame, because my employers are most insistent. 
They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? No. <laughs> Please, I think it's time you went. You know what? You're rude. And I'm out of matches. Hey, not in the house. Now why would you care? Your house may seem clean, but even I can see it. You're just one poker game short of being trailer trash. We ain't trash. We're decent folk. Aren't. Not ain't. They'll drag you down with them, you know. Now you hear this. If your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. Understand? Threatening us? You catch on real quick. After me, others will come. And they like to shoot first, smoke later, if you catch my drift. That watch on your wrist, valuable, is it? Why? I'm not leaving without my down payment. Uh, you give me that watch, and I'll buy you some time. Come on, hand it over. I ain't agreeing to nothing, so back off. Just like your father, always playing the wrong hand. Ow! Get off me! Keep still, you little runt. Gabe, I forgot my damn watch. Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss-stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive. tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Mine? Took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? This time, keep your goddamn mouth shut. He wanted money. Jay. For a gambling debt. Mm. He said there'd be trouble if we didn't pay. Jesus Christ, Bear. Mm. How much? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always. If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? <sighs> even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right.
look about the thing with the cops earlier. Don't hold it against me, okay? It's fine. Just don't do it again. The shed's in the back? Yeah. Away from the road. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Why isn't he turning off the lights? Halfway there. Gee, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh. It's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, $8,000. There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey. You all right? It's nothing. Just... That we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> Can't you just buy a ticket on a Greyhound and get out of here? I wish it was that easy. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Well, flight lessons aren't cheap. Learning your license doesn't guarantee you work as a pilot, so... I just didn't. But seeing how everything turned out... Maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. Wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. You ever been married? Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me. Said I drank too much. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you, drop it. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two, a regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses, what is all this? Sheriffs are elected, right? So all those names and cash amounts, could could he be paying out bribes or something? Paying them, taking them, and probably a lot more besides. He's been dirty as a dog for years now. Just can't believe he wrote it all down.
Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. <sighs> hmm. Shouldn't be much longer now. How are you doing? About, you know, Michelle. Never pictured up going on a road trip. You know, I kept blaming her for everything that happened to me. For things she said after the accident, for encouraging me to take that pet food job. Hmm. But she was just trying to help me move on. You've had a rough year, Vance. I'm sure it was hard for her, too. I know what I want to do about those settlement papers she wanted me to sign. Once we get out of here. Oh? I'm gonna do it. Sign the gag order. Take the money. Michelle's gone. All that matters now is I'm there for Zoe. Can't say I blame you after tonight. Having a nest egg, it's a smart move. I guess that bus will be here any minute. Wait, Vince. In case we don't make it. Ah, Jesus. Okay, look, my cancer, it's not as bad as I made it out. In fact, it, uh, it doesn't exist. I made it up. What? A year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed, and suddenly I was alone in the world. My brother was long gone. I had nobody left except you. But after everything I'd done, the way I left you, I, I knew you wouldn't let me back in your life unless... You gotta believe me, Vance. It came from a good place. So, so the doctor visits the... The chemo options, that CAT scan you showed me? What can I say? If you're gonna lie, might as well go all in. I can't believe this. Even from you. You have every reason to be angry. But Vince, you lost your wife tonight. And I want to be there for you. For Zoe. I walked out on my family, but I can be there for yours. You're all I have, Vince. So I'm coming clean. Can you give me another chance? My whole life has been one lie after another. How can you ever expect me to trust you after this? I... I don't know. I just hoped. When tonight's over, I think it's best we go our separate ways. No, I... I understand. All right, everybody, on your feet. Listen, everyone, the only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything, but I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Get out of the way!
Bus is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay! Get up! Jay! Jay! Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. I understand why you told your mom about the dead. But you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. But sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. <sighs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your mom, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. I know when to cash in the chips. You gotta stop. I've tried, son. But once you get a taste for winning, you just want it more. Turn off here. Hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. We stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? Uh. You got it. A pull. Keep pulling. Come on. He's dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He threatened us. You heard him. So I, I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me, and I hit him. Uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. It wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me.
These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave him the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. still warm. They'll be cold soon enough. Keep looking. <sighs> Ain't much, but it's better than nothing. He had a family. So do I. Didn't stop him coming after me. <clears throat> pa... What are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your mall. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. Oh, man. I never told anyone this, but when I was half your age, we had this young horse, beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting and I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. I can still smell the whiskey on his breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and... Oh, that's deep enough. All those years, I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. That's... You were... You were just a kid. You grab his arms. I'll take his feet. Let's get him into the hole. All right. Let's get him covered before sunrise. Be done. 
look like you need it. To he who falls last. You take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. What I ask you to do tonight, son, what you did wasn't just for me. It was for all of us. I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. They got places you can go, you know? Meetings? You can get help. Oh, they don't help old dogs like me. They just put them down. He was right, wasn't he? Those people he worked for? They'll come for us. It's me they'll come for. But I won't give them the satisfaction. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. Twenty-seven years. Oh, I knew he had his demons, but God, Bear, why couldn't you talk to me? We could have fixed this together. No payout for suicides. Hope you told him that. They gave us a week to settle the debt. After that, they'll come for the house, the trucks, and then us. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, you want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. Have 
you surrounded. Take them out! Take them out! Just keep firing! Ma, there's too many of them. We gotta get to the truck. Jim! Where are you? Over here! Bitch! I need you! Stay there! I'm coming! Hold your fire! Come out with your hands over your heads! What? So you can kill us too? <sighs> Can you walk? I'll need support. Ma, it's over. We can't win. <sighs> Dear God, please let this work. Ma, what are you doing? Improvising. Oh, shit! Run, run, run! Come on, son. We can't stay here. I know. I'm going fast as I can. Jesus, what now? Oh, that's not good. We need to get out, now. Come on. Mother! Paul! Get out of there, the whole place is going up. We're gonna have to jump. Grab my hands. Here we go. Oh, crap. Finch, what happened? Don't wait. Get clear of the building. Freaking mess. I trusted you, and you chose them over me. You've lost your mind. That stunt with the bus? You're supposed to protect people. And you were supposed to do what I asked, the Holtz. <laughs> then nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people, myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? I swear, I didn't even look. Well, the thing is, I... 
don't believe you. How about I take you in for questioning so we can be sure? <laughs> You're going. <laughs> I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what'd you read in there that you? Didn't want to tell me about. Attempted to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. Electrocute that asshole. <laughs> Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello. And who might you be? Where's my mommy and daddy? I need to make sure they're okay. She's that guy Vince's kid. Cops were meant to be watching her. Want to go for a ride, darling? Let her go. I don't think so. Zoe, what are you doing here? You were supposed to be in the car. The policewoman left the door open, and I wanted to find you. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. I lied for you. I may have just killed a cop because of you. And you thank me by... by taking my little girl? Relax. It ain't personal. Of course it's personal. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car. Ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. boy. Jay? You don't have to do this. Lower it? Please. So no one gets hurt. Not until they let Zoe go. I told you, we can't do that. Please, just put it down. You are not. Taking her. I'm not letting it happen. Then shoot him, Jay. Do it. Family means sacrifice. I've sacrificed too much already. Oh, sweetheart. I know. Let's shoot open that gate and get the truck started. Daddy! Zoe! Zoe! Oh, shit! 
Need some help here? Please say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Well, let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now... Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. He was the person he wanted to be. And this is where it got us. <laughs> This isn't my car. Mine's a red SUV. The place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Step on it! Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. Just the motel, but what happened afterward? I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long tongue liar. Go tell that midnight rider. Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. tell you the news my head's been wet with the midnight dues now i've been down on bended knees talking to the man from galilee my god spoke he spoke so sweet thought i heard the shuffle of angels feet he put one hand upon my head great god almighty let me tell you what he said tell that long tongue liar go tell that midnight
Before I started going to the pool, I used to run. 5Ks, 10Ks, didn't matter. Not how fast I sprinted, not whether I came in first. It was like trying to outrun my own shadow. But it's not my shadow I'm running from now. It's his. And he was running long before I was. I said turn off the engine! a getaway. Bad news. Step on it, Jay! There! On the left! barely see a thing out there. That's the idea. Cut the engine. Christ, I can't believe this. <sighs> We're alive. That's something, at least. You get the we're dumb for, right? We could still go to the cabin. How? On a magic carpet? Half the damn state's looking for us. And if anyone knows it's there... Cops will be halfway to Devil's Gulch before they realize they're not following us. The cabin's off-grid. Bear never told a soul about the place. We don't know that for sure. It's a huge risk. Well, Jesus, Tyler, we gotta go somewhere. Ma's right. The cabin's the safest place we got. Nobody asked you. Hey, don't talk to him like that. I want my daddy. Rob the sheriff, bust to Mexico, fuck, Ma. <laughs> All we do is cover up one mistake with the next one. We left Dale lying there. We just... We just left him. Why don't we talk in private? Keep an eye on the kid. Now, I know none of this has gone like we planned. And what happened to your brother? I'll Stop it. What are you doing? I don't want to be here. Right now, Please, let me go. give ourselves the best chance of getting out of this mess. What are they going to do with Okay, listen, when I say run, you sprint as fast as you can and keep the sun behind you, okay? You mean I can leave? Go! Quick! Thank you. Come on, back in the car. Son of a... Let her go. If she screams, it's worse. Jay? What did she do? She's just a kid. And what do you think happens to us if a kid dies in these woods, Tyler. huh? It's spilt milk. Let's just get moving. We're heading for the cabin. We'll be safe about it. Mm -hmm. Let's hit the highway before that chopper circles back. You know you just gave up our only bargaining chip? A person ain't a chip. You sure Pa didn't tell anyone the cabin's there? Barely told me about it. I guess the motorcycle's there. And the food. See? Now you're looking on the bright side. Ah. 
God, the door's stuck. I can't get him out. He's gonna die in there. Hey, you hear that? Fuck! They found us. We gotta leave him. I think I saw someone run. goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. Hey. Let's go out to the cabin and get high. Where is it? Oh, why can't I find it? The, the cabin. Hey. I think I need water. Somewhere at the edge of the world lies the lost fortress of awesomeness. All those who seek it have perished. All except one fearless young adventurer. His name? Ash Willema. Famed for his courage, his honor, and his, uh, his... His talent for overcoming problems. And this is the story of his quest. No! Look, Shima, I drew the story about the fort. You know, the one Ryan saw in the forest? There are no forts in Arizona. He's making it up. No, it's true. He was out hiking with his dad, out by the ridge. There's a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. That's where they saw it. Mm-hmm. 
I was thinking, wouldn't it be awesome if we went looking for it too? We could camp out for the night and, uh, I don't know, do other cool stuff like, uh, like, We could light a fire and roast marshmallows. Mmm. Now, if you want to get outdoors, why don't you go ride your bike? And while you're at it, go get the mail. Besides, we can't this weekend because I... Because you're busy, like always. I bet my dad would have gone with me. You have no idea what kind of man your father turned out to be. All right. If you say so. Whatever. Hey, buddy, you be careful on that road now. It'll be dark soon and you ain't got lights. Go get the mail, Ash. Screw this. Thunderstorms ahead, climbing to 30,000 feet. No, this, this can't be right. Ah, oh, Mom. If you'd come with me, we could have found it by now. Gotta be something I can eat. Come to Ash. by the ridge. You're a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. No way. Uh. 
Gotta get water. Gotta get warm. So good. <sighs> Please let there be a medicine cabinet. <sighs> Hurry it up. What's the news? Hate to say it, but we've lost them in the woods. <sighs> Send out search parties. And notify local radio stations. I want everyone in the country knowing the name Holt. Roger that. <sighs> you were lucky. A little higher. You could have hit an artery. I'm just grateful it's always okay. Uh, the Holts. Do you think you'll catch them? I'd say 50-50. The next 24 hours are critical, so it just depends on how smart they are. I should stay inside. That's the woodman's cottage. It was my mom's, so don't drop it. Are you the one who found me? You're in pretty rough shape. You got babbling about some cabin or something. Are you lost? No. I 
Uh, I got hit by a car. Where? In the forest? On the highway. I must have hit my head and wondered. Oh. Wow. Well, maybe I should call 911. I'd drive you to the hospital, but I'm not supposed to use a car. No. I'm not that hurt. I mean, not hospital hurt. You could be. You should get checked out. I'm not, though. <laughs> I swear. Well, I'm glad you're alive. I wasn't sure for a while there. Are you okay? You went to Two Rock High, right? I, uh, yeah. The high school. I went for a while. Thought so. You used to eat lunch alone under that gnarly tree by the parking lot, right? The juniper. Yeah, that was me. Tell me your name again. It's Dean. Hey, Dean. I'm Vanessa. Look, could I rest here a while? My head, it's... I'll stay out of the way, I promise. Hmm. I guess I don't mind the company. But you have to be gone before eight, or my dad will kill us both. And just so we're clear, I once kicked a guy in the nuts so hard he swallowed his own tongue. <laughs> Good to know. Here. These are old, but they're clean. Thank you. <laughs> so, why'd you leave TRH? You got sick of Mrs. Campbell always sending everyone to detention? Nah. I dropped out. That makes two of us, by the way. I mean, technically I was pulled out so I could go to a lame Catholic school and be told what to wear and what to think, but... What was your excuse? Got tired of getting D's? It's better than F's, isn't it? You get F's if you don't try. D means you tried and you failed. See? Much better. Phoebe! Where's my sandwich? I'll be right there! Who was that? Oh, it's just my Mima. Are you hungry? You're gonna behave yourself today, right, Mima? Hang on, I forgot my cigarettes. You haven't smoked in years. Haven't I? Nope. We have some new developments in what police are now calling the Desert Dream Massacre. We knew one of the shooters was killed at the scene, but it's been confirmed. Three more are still on the loose. Are you okay with ham and cheese? Oh, none of those disgusting sliced singles. The gunman who died was identified as Dale Holt of Two Rock, who had a prior conviction for assault. There's speculation the other suspects are members of the same family. Mima, we have a visitor. Um, hello there. Hang on, I know that voice. Huh? Oh, Lord Almighty, you're home. Is it really you, Maddie? I'm sorry. We've never met. My name's Dean. Oh. Maddie died, didn't he? Yes, Mima. The things a mind can forget. Here. Let me help. So, Dean. What does a high school dropout do all day? I'm not judging. I'm just jealous. Spend time outside, mostly. Hike into the hills, <gasps> go fish in the river, maybe go hunting if the season's right. You mean kill animals? You know that ham was a pig once. It's pastrami. But all right, you win. 
Tell you one thing, Matthew made better sandwiches than him. I made your sandwich. And it tastes like cardboard. Because you won't let me use condiments. <sighs> I'm gonna go listen to murder, she wrote. <sighs> it was nice to meet you, Dave. She used to be my role model. She had a motorcycle license, she knew karate. Now she either can't find her pants or can't remember how to put them on. Matt, Matthew, he's your... My brother. <laughs> he died in a car accident. How did it happen? Spring break? A year ago? Matt was grounded as usual. My dad's always grounding us. So he snuck out to this party. Said I wouldn't have liked it. Though, I think he just wanted to keep me out of trouble. And when he wasn't at breakfast the next morning, our dad was furious. And then we got the call. It happened on his way home. My brother died too. Kind of recent. How? He got shot. Fuck. That's... Ugh. That's horrible. I know. Look, do you mind if I study for a little bit? Finals start next week, and I haven't opened a book all semester. Can I help clean up? Be my guest. You know, you were smart to drop out. I mean, do we really need to know three ways Andrew Jackson changed the US presidency? <laughs> Don't think so. If this comes up, I'm just gonna skip it. So, were you close? Huh? To your brother. Once, he shot me six times with a BB gun. <sighs> but he looked out for me when Pa was drinking. So, I guess it depended on the day. Your dad, he's a drunk or something? Was a drunk. He's dead now, too. Damn. Your luck's as bad as mine. What happened? He hung himself. I'm the one who found him. Jesus, Dean. This is a, a horrible thing to say, but... Sometimes I wish my dad would die or whatever. Come on, you don't mean that. You'd understand if you knew him. He's a control freak. Hey, I hate my family sometimes too. If it ain't my pa drunk or my brother's picking on me, it's everyone just mad at each other for no reason. See? You get it. Anyway, sorry that got so dark. <sighs> hey, you want to help me study? Oh, I don't think I'll be much help. <laughs> yeah, you will. It's always better with someone else. Okay, sure. Minnesota? Nope. Wyoming? Still no. Oh my god, I give up. It's Alaska. Over three million acres of parks, all protected. Only place with more is Canada. Let me see. Okay, your turn. What? No, I Which don't- Which president signed the 1906 oh. Landmark Antiquities Act, created the Forest Service, and established five national parks, including the Grand Canyon? Wait. I think I saw this on TV. Thomas Jefferson? Nope, you're a hundred years too early. The correct answer is Teddy Roosevelt. Oh. And I am officially gonna fail. So? You don't need some tests to know that you're, you're smart and... <sighs> 
You know what? Never mind. Dean, that was, like, really sweet. <laughs> Shit, he's home early. Just say you're a friend from school. Actually, no, say you're my study partner. The school paired us up because... Hi, Dad. I thought you were working late. I didn't see another car out front. Who's this? Uh... This is Dean, from school. Hello, Dean, from school. Hello, sir. Well, I'm glad to see you studying. But remind me, Dean, which school do you go to? Huh? Uh, the Broadwell School. Surely you mean the Bridgeley School. Right. That's the one. <sighs> Dean's new at school. That's why the academic office put us into a study group together. And you the one who sells her marijuana? What? No, I told you I stopped huh? smoking. I'm asking him. I should go. You're not going anywhere. I like to know who my daughter spends her time with. <laughs> You're a cop? I run a private security firm. His company guards banks. In a town that hasn't had a bank robbery in decades. Enough, Vanessa. Anyway, that might be changing. You hear about this motel massacre down on Route 66? Oh, right, on the radio earlier. What happened? Do you know? Apparently, three brothers botched a robbery and took over a motel. <sighs> Things got pretty nasty. Well, is it over? Not quite. There's a manhunt underway. Once the FBI gets some sketches of this Holt family, their faces will be all over the country. Jason! Mm. I need your help with something. Don't you go anywhere. I am so, so sorry. I really think I should leave. No, you'll only make it worse. Vanessa, where's Mima's audio book? Hang on, it's probably in the bathroom. I thought I told you to stay put. Sir, I need to get home. Sure. Your parents will be expecting you. Dad, have you checked her? <laughs> What's going on? And your study partner was sneaking out. Uh, you weren't even gonna say goodbye? Well, I suppose I have no right to keep you here. Thank you, sir. My mom will be... Hang on. Why are you wearing my son's clothes? <sighs> I can explain. Look, I got struck by a car earlier. Mm. Vanessa found me and cleaned me up. A hit and run? You kids should have called the cops. We could just flag down the one that's been patrolling. No. It was my fault. I forgot to look. I was high. Are you kidding me? Get the hell out of my house. Yes, sir. Goddamn junkie. You. You're grounded. Jay, you in there? Wake up and hang these bush tails in the pantry for me. Son of a bitch. You ain't Jay. Come here. <laughs> the fuck are you doing here? Huh? 
Speak up. I don't know where I am. I just want to go home. And you just happened to stumble across my cabin. Oh. Don't you hear about this place? Huh? Who told you? A friend. He's in my class. He said there was a fortress near a shark tooth shaped. Fortress? There's no fortress here. There's nothing here. Uh, this place don't exist. I reckon there's only one reason you came here, and that's to steal my stuff. I was just looking, but I didn't take anything. Looking, snooping, it's all the same thing. Where are you from? Uh, well, well... My mom is half Diné, half Maori. You dumb shit. I was asking where you lived. Never mind. And this mom of yours. Does she know you're here, thief? No. I sneaked out without telling her. She doesn't care what I do anyway. And I'm not a thief. I caught a kid trying to steal from my wallet once. Got my knife under his chin. A <gasps> knife just like this one. Please don't. Why? What do you think I did to him? You... You set him free? You think I let him off the hook? Kids don't learn if you don't teach them. I told that boy I was gonna cut him loose after I cut a piece off him. But seeing as I'm a reasonable man, I let him choose which, finger or ear. Now it's your turn. Choose. <laughs> Make it quick. Finger, huh? That's exactly what he chose. That's when I see tears coming. So I tell him, there's no greater shame than stealing from your own father. And as he was my eldest son, I was gonna teach him some respect. Now that may sound harsh, but it's no different to how my pappy taught me. And afterwards, I said, you'll thank me for it. He never thanked me for it. Instead, he started to cry for his mama. So I let him go. Pa? Hey, Pa! Listen good, you little fuck. You know what'll happen if I see you here again. So run home to your mama and never look back. Now run, me Paul. Uh, 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 uh. Faster! Before I change my mind! Pa, what are you shooting at? Yes! Yes! A road! Adventure camp? Hope you and your boy have a great trip, Miss Willemma. He's gonna be so surprised. 
That's today. Oh, Mom. Got half the sheriff's department looking for you. Tell my mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now hold on. You tell her yourself. You okay? <laughs> Jesus, what happened to you? I was. <laughs> I was looking for the fort. Ash, what are you talking about? What happened to you out there? It was a cabin. I... I saw... I saw a man. A, a poacher, I think. Poachers. Goddamn he... poachers. Okay, Ash. Okay. We'll check it out. It's all right. It's all right, son. You're safe now. Ash? Ash! Easy. Easy. Gotcha. We're gonna get you to a hospital. Okay. When I got out of the car, you weren't there. I thought I was... I thought that was it. It was that freaking helicopter. We circled back, but the cops were... I can't believe you survived. What were you thinking, sneaking up on us like that? Were you followed? I know how to cover my tracks. You got some kind of plan? Beginnings of one. Dante's got an account number in that little black book. If it's what I think it is, That's then... for later. First, we need to get to Canada. Canada? Cops are gonna be all over the southern border, so we head north. You hate the cold. Don't worry, Jay. I got your back. You know that, right? I know Dale did. With you... Sometimes I don't know. I'll always look out for this family. No matter what. I'm gonna take first watch. You two get some rest. We got a long day tomorrow. We're not going to Canada. We're going to Texas. Huh? 
I know a guy in Eagle Pass who can get us across the Grand. So, why'd you tell Jay North? Because he ain't coming. First thing tomorrow, I'll send him to Kanab. Say he's our scout. By the time he gets back, we'll be long gone. No, I am not doing that to him. Ain't it bad enough we lost Dale? Hey, you think I want this? That I want any of it? <sighs> we both know Jay was never exactly your favorite. But I still looked out for him, didn't I? All I've ever done, I did for this family. Worked my butt off since I was 14. Been protecting you from Pa from when I was old enough to hit him back. Hell, I barely even had a life of my own. I was so busy dealing with everyone else's. For 25 years, it's always been me. Who takes it on the chin? Tyler the eldest. The responsible one. Well, enough's enough, Ma. I ain't going down with the ship. There's two seats on that motorcycle, not three. And Jay ain't getting one. What are you doing? Leave it. Uh, this is crazy. I'll stay. You two go. You'll never survive out here alone. But Jay will. He practically lives in these woods. I don't care. I'll die here if I have to. Nuh-uh. We're all gonna make it because Jay's gonna do the right thing and stay. Why can't we all go? We haven't even tried. We've done nothing but try. What do you think this has all been about? It's time to get real, kid. You owe us. Owe you? You heard me. You're the one who stole that goddamn book. I didn't know. Exactly. Because you're always in your own goddamn world. Pa, he treated you like you were some golden boy. But you've been lost in your daydream since the day we took you in. What? You're real, Mom. Should have done us a favor. Tyler, enough. What do you mean? My real mom? Mama? What's he talking about? You are blood, and I raised you as a son. So that makes me your mother. The rest doesn't matter. It matters to me. Who's my real mom? My younger sister, Brooke. She died giving birth to you. You had a sister? Who was my father? You don't have one. Shouldn't have been Dale. Should have been you. Listen! You let them straight to us. I did it. I swear. go to prison. Me neither. <laughs> Don't you dare run, you coward! Thank <laughs> you. 
Check over there. Dog's got something. Do you see him? He's not here. Let's check down hill. Put your hands in the air, okay? I don't want to hurt you. Please, you don't need to shoot. You're under arrest for, well, shit, more crimes than I can name. If you try to resist, I will use deadly force. Now, I want you to slowly lie down, arms overhead. If you try to, you know, make any sudden moves.
Shane, am I drunk? Or are we sitting at a kitty arcade? <laughs> nope. Don't got no space invaders in here. Please, can I have some water? You want a drink? Then buy one. <laughs> Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that fella. <sighs> now, how's that for dumb luck? Excuse me, are you headed north? How far? Hmm. As far as you'll take me? Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but I'll bite. Who you running from? And what have you done to piss him off? I'm just going cross country. I want to see new places. Must have left in a rush if you didn't bother bringing a bag. I travel light. And I travel without passengers. <sighs> what if we throw for it? Three darts each? I win. You give me a ride. If I don't, I'll buy you a drink. Two drinks? Ah, uh, what the hell. I'm bored. Twenty-seven. Your turn. Right. Mmm, not bad. I've played before. Ready for round two? Forty-seven? What's that? 25? Hey, slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drinks. <laughs> Final round. Stakes are high. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Hanging in there, though. For now. No rush, kid. Hate for you to mess up now. Sharking me. I ain't got no patience for jocks. Can I help you? I'm looking for an 18 year old male, sand colored hair. Connected to that motel shooting in Two Rock? Who's asking? Someone who was there. Shit. Fucking cops. Does this look like a place that serves 18 year olds? <laughs> Go for it. I'll keep it busy. Have you seen him or not? His people killed my partner. He's going straight to death row. You sure you're a cop? You ain't dressed like one. I'm off duty. This one's personal. Yeah, well, I ain't seen anyone. How about you? <laughs> seen anyone underage tonight? Well, you look pretty young. Just answer the fucking question. Okay, let me think. Well, there's Shane at the bar. 
That big guy, Gene, who comes around for dinner. Kyle, oh, wait a minute, maybe it's Lyle. Did you see a teenager or not? No, can't say I did, but if I do, I'll call you. Or actually, uh, I could just call you anyway. Tell me the truth. You kill all those cops? Blow up the school bus? All that shit from TV? I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? No. It wasn't me. Too bad. For a second there, I almost liked you. Hey, what about my ride? It wasn't a fair bet. Assistance. I I need to collect call the Dorland family in Two Rock, Arizona. Please state your name. Tell her it's Dean. Hello? I have a collect call from Dean. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I accept. I, I didn't think I'd hear from you again. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Ooh, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? I had this argument with my brother. He said, well... It don't matter, but I left. I ran away. Shit. Okay. Do you want me to call them for you? I could try to- No. It's too late. I'm on my own now. I've got nothing to eat. No money. Look, things have been shitty here too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for like half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Uh, Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? Okay. I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? <sighs> you know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. No, 
It's dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Soul Lake City? I've been. It's weird, but it's safe. But are you sure? Don't worry about me. Seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. gonna regret this but right now you're all I need I know Marlon two years sober and I can't even fall off the wagon in style what's got you so there no uh. oh god <sighs> Sharon! S -s sorry, sorry. You you can... Uh... <sighs> Jesus! I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a... What, you bake now? You broke in to my home. You left the window open. Bike blew a tire the first mile. I lost Tyler. Jay abandoned us. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest. Take a shower, have a... Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul! <clears throat> that motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons... <sighs> What we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce's kid. The little boy your son left without a mama. Good people died in there. I'm sorry. Truly sorry for what you and that poor family went through. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. Don't ask me. The, the less I know, the better. Please. I've run out of options. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. It's always the same with you. Give Paul a sob story till you get what you want. Well, I'm done. Sob story? You think I do this to myself? Sharon, you're all over the news. Tyler, I heard they arrested him. He took a stand so I could take a chance. He's the only reason I got away. They'll try to break him. But he won't give him the satisfaction. He knows what those sons of bitches did to Dale. My beautiful baby. All his life, they had it in for him. <laughs> Sorry. But, Jay, 
at least he got away, right? I don't know if he's got the strength to make it. I pray he does. For the love of God, please let him be okay. All this for a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. All because of Bear. Damn him. We both had dreams once, remember? I was gonna expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast -coast motorcycle trip you always said you were gonna do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? I don't go poking around in other people's lives, and neither should you. How I live is my business. If it makes you happy. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon. Back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. Been telling myself the same thing for 20 years. Never thought you'd say it, though. You've always been a good friend. When those thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. I if you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was... If, if I'd known what would... Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink, don't you? <sighs> that night at, at the motel, it brought it all back, the war, what we went through. <sighs> Some nights, I hear Bear through the walls, screaming in his sleep. I can't imagine. Look, nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. Or what? You're gonna tell the cops? No. I wouldn't betray a friend. I mean, sure, you could end up in jail because of all this. And so could I. But there's a way out. For both of us. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. <sighs> the cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. No name, no ID. All a person's gotta do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but you. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Karma. Payback. Call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. Look, you said it yourself. We should have been together from the start. And I'm saying this is our second chance. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion, or we can live together in paradise. You do realize if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see Jay again. That doesn't mean I can't help him. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. Expect. 
expecting anyone? No. Hey, cuz, it's me. Open up. <sighs> Shit. It's Dante. Fancy seeing you here. You actually came. Well, you sounded like a lost puppy. Can I come in? Uh -huh. <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. You might be the nicest person I ever met. <laughs> I promise. I'm not that nice. Then why are you helping me? Look, you're doing something I've only ever dreamed about. Running away from everything. So if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? It's just, if you hadn't come, I'd have nobody now. You sure you can't go back to your family? Your mom must be worried. She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. My real mom was some aunt. I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. I just feel dead inside. Like, maybe I don't even care. Of course you care. You're just hurt right now. How do you know? Because I've been there. Believe me. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's not your room. Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. Oh my god, how did he find me? You see this? That's my credit card that you need to book for this room. Now, open the door or I'll call the police. Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you- You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What? you doing in a Salt Lake City hotel? It's none of your business. What are you doing? Is it meth? Ketamine? Why? Move! Vanessa, do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life? Lying all the time? Until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure. Let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning. With enough shit in his system to kill a... You know what? No. I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Oh, do what you have to. Vanessa! 
You're making a huge mistake! We need to get out of here. You mean together? Well, I'm not just gonna abandon you. Know how to start a car without the key? You mean hotwire it? Uh, Dale showed me once. But I think it's these ones. <laughs> okay, not those ones. sound crazy, but I think my daughter just ran off with a fugitive. had done this, spread her wings, before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. scary because you couldn't predict him. Mm -hmm. Yours is scary because you know exactly what he's gonna do. You mean come after me? Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? You know what we are? 
We're wrestlers. Like in the Old West. Horse thieves. I think you like history. Well, beats algebra. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? <laughs> I never said he'd help you. But he'll help me. <laughs> I said, open up. Hide. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. I'm... I'm busy. Take your time. Oh, wait. <sighs> Come on, get your shit together. Coming in. <sighs> Sorry. Hi, I, uh... What's with the kitty bike out front? Yeah, just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but after what he's been through. Right. Oh, you look a little flushed. <laughs> Got some of your stuff they saved from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez, <laughs> it's darker than a dungeon in here. Didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. And if I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Find a... find a job? Something different? Y yeah Gardening, maybe. Change a career? Sure. You know, I was almost an analyst for the FBI. Fucking desk job. <laughs> Imagine it. Ah, seems like a lifetime ago. Hmm. Oh, look at this little man-eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you... Oh, boy. Me will be in the doghouse, huh? Like I feel. <laughs> uh, I bet we could both use a coffee, right? Uh -huh. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Yeah. Back then, I believed it was about making a difference. But being the good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Talking to you. you. You knew I was in the motel that night. Did it even cross your mind to ask about me? 
If you mean that I think it was a good idea to remind three bloodthirsty bastards that they were holding the sheriff's own cousin hostage, then frankly, no. I did not. You, uh, sure you're okay? You look a little jumpy there. Sorry. Wasn't expecting company. Yeah. Guess not. Hey, you mind me asking, uh, why two glasses over there? Uh-huh. The man gotta have a good reason for using his own glasses? No, it's just a little unusual, isn't it? Not for me. So, little birdie told me you were at the station earlier. Talking to those fellas from the DA's office. Just, you know, asking what I could remember about uh, about the motel and all that stuff with the, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't. Uh huh. And what was your professional opinion? I said, maybe, in hindsight, you, you could have handled things differently. But Dante, you, you gotta understand... Oh, I understand perfectly. I'm sure you told them exactly what they wanted to hear, didn't you? Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. And what did I get for it? Getting shot in the shoulder. Electrocuted after death. Now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Give those whole boys their blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Yeah, I'd do my best by her, but... I guess it'll never be enough. Say, I never thanked you for getting me a discount on that office safe. It's the same model they put in the rooms at the motel, right? That's right. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> After those old boys broke in, I, uh, I found a slip of paper with some numbers on it. Now, how do you think they knew about that factory override? Maybe you wrote it down somewhere, and, and someone got a hold of it. Oh, somebody definitely wrote it down. And I got a good idea who. Yeah, but one thing's for sure. Wherever Sharon Holt is, she ain't sipping margaritas on some tropical beach. Nope. In fact, I don't think she got too far at all. You know, I forgot how close you two used to be. I see this we're family. I'm gonna make this real easy for you. Where is she? Long gone. I, I mean, she was here, but but uh, she, she, she 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 wanted money. I I, I refused, obviously. I, I should have gone to you, but then she said that if she got caught, she'd blame me. Say I was helping her. You son of a bitch. It was you. You gave her the call. No, listen, Dante, I, I, I can... I... what you've done you and me both know that's not why you're taking me in no no -uh. don't even start down that road oh. 
Come with me. It's not too late. Gave me that safe. The same model you put in the motel rooms. You gave me the factory code. Where's my book? You have it. I know you do. And you ain't getting it. If I don't, I'm finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. Oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Paul, how could you do this to me? I know where that money comes from. Sharon told me everything. You don't know the half of it. Did you take her side over mine? Your own blood? I know she made you do this, Paul. Look, I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. Now give me the gun. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. And you know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. We can be free together. You can do this. I know you can.
bathroom. Don't go anywhere. Last person I expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. Look, will you help me or not? What will we give me for it? Oh man, you are so freaking tall from down here. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? We go to school together in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo will fucking do. Now get out of my room or get out of the party. Dean, please. I'm all right. Buddy, she's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Be a good sport. You can't win them all. Shit! Here? You started this. Dean, please, let's just go. <laughs> Dean, it's time to go. You're one jealous fuck. Well, guess what? She was mine first. Someone call 911. <laughs> Why did you tell me he was your brother's friend? Because I thought you'd get upset if you knew I'd gone out with him for a while. Apparently, I was right. He could have helped you if you trusted me. We should go find somewhere to sleep before the cops come. But tomorrow, we're done.
I'm gonna find somewhere to camp. Don't follow me. What are you gonna sleep on? <sighs> Wait, we shouldn't go too far from the car. Did you really run away from home? Or was that all a lie? I swear, I'm not hiding anything from you. Except that you're a violent asshole. Do you know I was thinking I'd go to Canada with you? I'm so stupid. I barely even know you. No, you're not. You're the opposite of stupid. Oh, give me a break. I should just go home and face the music. Please don't leave. Give me one reason not to. Back at the hotel, when you actually showed up, I couldn't believe it. But that's when I knew. Knew what? You really gonna make me say it? Well, I can't answer if I don't know what you're gonna say. <sighs> Fine. That's when I knew I was... You know... Vanessa... I'm in love with you. This has been the worst week of my life. But when we're together, somehow it's all okay. I came to Salt Lake today because I like you. And I don't like a lot of people. And I meant what I said before. <sighs> when you said you were heading for Canada, I thought, why not? Maybe I should go, too. You did? I haven't had a life in Two Rocks since the day my brother died. My dad's like this prison guard whose job is making sure I never make a friend, never take a risk. Every single week, I think I should just run the fuck away. Instead, I sit around in that stupid uniform, helping Mima, waiting for permission. Well, you know what? I don't need permission but violence i just can't so swear swear you'll never hurt someone like you hurt todd tonight i swear okay then i forgive you now, let's get some sleep. We've got a long day tomorrow. Hey, you never told me your last name. It's, uh, Holton. We've been in Two Rock over 150 years. Are you gonna miss it? Being part of a family like that? Nah, it's like you said. I make my own choices from here on out. Now, I'm finally free. All units, be advised. Teenager involved in the assault of 1281 Elmfield this evening is being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous.
Shit! Are you okay? I beat my record. Hey, um, you forgot your goggles. Thanks. It's Zoe, right? You work at the deli on campus? Sorry, that's not me. No, I recognize you. You make the best meatball subs. That other guy, he's so stingy with the marinara. I don't work there anymore. Oh, sorry. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about? Holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of a pool. One of these days, I'm gonna get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? It's nothing. Just beating the clock. You don't wanna just try out for the swim team or something? I don't do teams. I should be getting home. Look, I know we don't know each other, but I kind of have a sense for when people need help. My mom got sick a few years ago. I was spending every night in the hospital with her, worrying whether she'd make it. And all my friends wanted to talk about was homework and boys. Until I realized there was always someone ready to listen. <laughs> Seriously? I don't have time for this. Hey, I, I was just trying to help. Well, I didn't ask you to. You swim your way, I'll swim mine. <gasps> So, I talked to Mima. What? When you were changing the license plate, I called to check on her. Did you tell her any... No, no, I just wanted to hear her voice. Are you sure you're up for this? Huh? Hiking over the border? <laughs> I'll manage. I know it's the best way to avoid the police. I'll feel better in the woods. I spend most of my time there already. Don't you ever get lonely out there? Not really. Why? Freedom of it? Back home, someone's always telling me what to do. <laughs> Build a deck. Help with the roof. Out in the woods. My house. My rules. That does sound nice. More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers, who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's house, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a... Why'd you do that? That's the thing from back home. My head's just starting to hurt. Should we stop for some aspirin? Or I could drive. I'm cool. I just don't want the radio on. Mm.
God. We're in a fucking stolen car. Morning, you two. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Were you there? No, sir. We're just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? We're from San Francisco. We're driving cross country. Strange route you're taking. You don't have California plates. Oh, it was his aunt's car. She lived here in Montana before she died. So we're here to visit his uncle. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh-huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration, you'll be on your way. Sure. Just a sec. Uh, where is it? Hmm. Well, it's against the law to drive in Montana without a valid driver's license. I'm really sorry, officer. I'll need to run the plates. Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me. Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. Shit, he's gonna find out any second. What, again? Well, can't you run it manually? We need to get out of here. I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. Huh. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. All right. I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. I will, officer. Go on. Get out of here. Hey, Dad. You, um, working late? Yep. Boss just dumped another mountain of overtime on me. Ah, same old, same old. So, um, you okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Gotta make a good impression on the boss, huh? I get it. So how about I drop by the deli tomorrow, we grab a couple of those free sandwiches. That might be... tricky. Why? Everything's cool at work, right? To be honest, Dad... Things... didn't really work out for me with the job. Meaning what? You quit? More like... got let go. Ah, oh, Zoe... What will you do? Oh, I've, I've got a few things lined up. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Zoe? Sorry. Uh, Dad, I gotta go.
pill bottle. Am I just not seeing it? What is that? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Tell me I'm awake this time. Come on. Think. Where did you put them? Who's there? Hello? If this is a joke, it's not funny. I know it's late, but I, I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Oh, uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little, uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! I'll be there in ten. <sighs> it's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Oh. Hey there, Zussi, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. Now, please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Are you okay? Were you hurt? No, uh, I, I wasn't here. I, I was, um, I think, downstairs. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. That is not true. I wanted some air, so I, I took a walk, and, uh, and I, I saw someone, and, uh, I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with, with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Yeah. Zoe, I know this is painful to hear. But your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living home. Oh, God or... damn it. I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still, somebody will have to pay for that door. Don't you have some kind of insurance? 
It's his front door. He broke it. Huh? He pays for it. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. She sounds just like your dad with that garbage. Not that he ever speaks to me. Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my door and because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? <gasps> Me? I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you just got back from a war. <laughs> How you been sleeping? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmare started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You were doing better a few months ago. Did something set you back? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So, what else? You still enjoying work? I got fired. Missed too many shifts. I told Dad. You can imagine how that went down. Ooh, like the Titanic, I expect. Well, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. You always talked about being an investigative journalist. Why don't you go get a degree? I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean and disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take it when someone has been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. <sighs> Hang on. Where's my tablet computery thing? Oh, no. Those bastards. I got that for my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. All books, medical books. Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to. Wasn't that your job? Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was someone else. Grandpa, are you taking your meds? I don't like them. They make me fussy. Okay, it's your body. Grandpa, are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? How can I be sure of something I can't remember? Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in? Haven't you ever misplaced or lost something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you too. Shelby's right. It's getting worse. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? Sounds awful. 
I can't even begin to. You must think I made this whole damn mess up. Actually, someone's been following me too, I think. What? Earlier at the pool. And then tonight at my apartment, I, I thought I saw someone. But I don't know if it's even real. I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid, losing your mom like that. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously, you don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Grandpa? Either we're both losing our marbles, or... Or what? No. Oh, it's impossible. It's okay. I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam! It all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us. Me trying to remember you. Trying to forget. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. <sighs> Look it in the eye and see this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you listen. And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. I wish I had another layer on. It's gonna be beautiful once we get some altitude. What's the furthest you've ever hiked? I did the Two Rocks of Two Rock once. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, it was hard. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. Tell you a secret? I've never left Arizona before. Tell me when I'm not about to collapse. I promise I'll care. Here. <sighs> uh. 
You'd be going a lot faster without me. I'd be going nowhere without you. Give me your hands. Uh, teamwork. I don't get it. I'm cold and wet. My legs hurt like I've been in double gym all week. And you're the energizer bunny, just going and going. How do you do it? Been doing this all my life. You've been doing it since lunch. Okay. Yeah, true. I'll get the hang of it. <sighs> My God. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Sometimes at home, around sunset, me and my mom used to walk out into the desert, and on a hot day, if there was enough haze, the sun would just bloom like a giant fireball on the horizon. Was it better than this? Just different company. Hey, you're bleeding. Shit. I didn't even feel this happen. Let me see. <laughs> there. That's better. I'm glad you know what you're doing. So, how do we get over the border? We're gonna have to swim. Won't it be cold? Freezing, probably. But it's good for you. Wakes you up. Way better than coffee. <laughs> ah. down uh. Vanessa are you there it's me it's dad dad what are you doing here do you know do you have any idea who you run away with y yes his name's Dean Vanessa this isn't right how did he find us look can we just talk for a few minutes? Please. We need to get up to that ridge. It's the only way. What's the point? He'll just keep following wherever I go. He thinks he can carry me home over his shoulder like I'm still a little girl. Well, fuck that. Vanessa, what are you doing? Hold your fire. Dad, you have gone too far this time. Dean and me, we're leaving for good. You can't control me anymore. You're just gonna have... Who are... What are they doing? Stop it! Let me go! I'm sorry, honey. It's the only way. Jay Holt! You are under arrest on the authority of the FBI! What? I'll admit. I thought you were smarter than to hightail it away from a highway checkpoint, but so be it. Now I got a whole team of federal agents here, so this is where it ends, Jay. I'm not letting you people send me to die. Thing is, your friend Vanessa's been aiding and abetting you. She's going to juvenile corrections. Prison. At 18. Her life's over, Jay. Hear what I'm saying? You're full of shit. Again. You're not sending her to jail. It's me you want. Actually, we want both of you. But it's you we want more. And that means you have some leverage. Go on. 
Your turn. Jay, listen to me. Whatever Vanessa is to you, she was my little girl once. Slept on my chest, walked on my feet. And the special agent here, he says the only way she'll get a deal is if she testifies against you. Which can't happen unless you give yourself up. So please, do the right thing. For her. Let's go, let's go! Don't do it, kid. You'll never make it. If I live, you won't find me again. If you jump, you die. Even with a capital conviction, you could live 15 years or more, just on appeals. You know how birds learn to fly? Their moms push them out of the nest. And once they're falling, they got no choice. Contact Border Patrol. Let me know when they find his corpse. Where is he? Did he... He's gone. Probably dead. Daddy, please. Tell them to let me go. It's over. Your plan didn't work. Our deal was she goes free once he's in custody. And that didn't happen. Sure, this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. My God, Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month, ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How'd you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Yeah, they are. 
You look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but in my mind, you're still that scared little kid. You look older, too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, come sit down. I got a chair on the patio. And I promise, you won't need that pepper spray. View. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said. In your letters. I tried not to think about yours. But I never had much luck at that. <sighs> oh. I have a lot of questions. About your life and... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. You know, the world thought you were dead after you jumped off that cliff. I almost was. I must have blacked out when I hit the water. I don't remember swimming to shore. In all these years, you've never been recognized? I had some close calls in town. But you don't really know. You just feel people looking. So now I don't go far. Library, the market, that's about it. What about that girl you ran away with? Vanessa? I look her up sometimes. She went to Juvenile Hall for a while, but she's a... something with lawyers now. She turned out okay. You don't know that. Nobody can know if someone's okay. I guess you're right. Just... I hope she's happy. She deserves it. Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Ma left the country, I think. Don't know where. Tyler wasn't so lucky. He's on death row in Arizona. But that's it. It's just me now. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she'd just had cubs. Lesson learned. So, why'd you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came in person. Why? I keep seeing your face and my dreams out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye... That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out, do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like, I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand. 
and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. No, we're not. Don't kid yourself. Jay, why? Why'd you start writing me? I told you. There's a lot I never got to talk about. I know. But why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. All these years later, you'd think I'd be able to move on, but I never have. You must hate me after everything my family did to you. My mom was killed that night. How many others died too? I was so fucked up that I didn't even graduate. I got expelled from two different high schools for being so distracted. And then your letters started coming. And... Zoe, nothing I say will change what happened. If I tell you I was young, I was stupid. I didn't realize how sick my family was. Doesn't matter. Fact is, I was 18. I should have known better. But I didn't. And I'm sorry. You can't just... It isn't that easy. Maybe not. But the things I did to get to this cabin... The people, I... I think about them every day. The cop in the woods. And you. Always you. Don't do that. Don't act like you care. If what you need is to see me locked up, there's a signal booster on the roof. Call the cops. I won't run. It ain't really freedom when you're living a lie. I might even be grateful. Come on, Roosevelt. Let's take a walk. I'd like to report the location of a fugitive. Ma'am, are you in danger? No. I'll be gone before anyone gets here. The thing about shadows is, you can't escape them. You either come to terms with them, or the darkness swallows you whole. Jay Holt! You are under arrest in cooperation with the Canadian government. Why are some of us able to grow and change while others have their time on Earth cut short? Why do some of us find ways to endure? just wither on the vine. I don't know the answers, but I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Hey, Zoe, uh, it's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day, about facing up to things, and uh, well, there's something I never told anyone. 
That day in Turok, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward, uh, Death's dream, all of it, I think it was all my fault. Okay, tell him he can have it. It's all in two rocks. Oh. <laughs>